Inability, inability to focus, inability to concentrate, problems concentrating, not being able to concentrate, hyperactivity. I think uh, attention deficit disorder formed by someone's environment. Un unnecessary diagnosis. Ambiguous. Creativity. Be misdiagnosed. Overprescribed. Unattentive. Very prevalent. Over medicated. Expensive. Over medicated. Natural. Yeah. Intrusive. I don't know. Fun. Fix. Fix. Distracting. Crazy. That definitely is a detriment. Everyone sees, oh, Richard got all this potential. But anyone who spends any amount of time with Richard sees he wastes a massive amount of that potential. Film is a part of time. It's a piece of time, you know. You know, just like you capture a photo, you can never get that piece of time back. And you can never, I mean, you can change stuff inside of a photo, but why? It shows, it shows what I You know, think. it's like you, when you first glance at me, right? When you first glance at me, you know, I've, I've heard, you know, people say I'm clean cut. I'm very intelligent, and I have a good head on my shoulders. He presents this really cool, well put together young person, but he has all these other issues. And once you hang around him for a couple of days or weeks, you finally see that that all goes away. I go from this trustworthy person to the person that is going to be late or absent. I mean, not there. Don't show up. Won't get something done. Won't do. And I don't want to be that person. People entrust certain things to you, and you just take it and go, yeah, all right, whatever. I hope this is ADD. I hope. And this medicine, and I'm gonna go to a psychiatrist, and we can all get this done, because right now I sound really fucking crazy. Are you concerned about whether you have ADD, right? Yes. Why? Well, I was diagnosed for it before uh -huh. in seventh grade, and um, I'm doing a documentary about. Uh -huh. Attention deficit is what I figure that not only would it be good to document me going through the process. With your schoolwork, any problem at all? Um, yeah, procrastination. Oh, procrastination, um, that's my middle name. Go ahead. I, um, just like, I guess, restlessness with, with, with I'm trying to be inside of a, a quiet environment. Mm -hmm. Um, Wow, staying, staying in my seat. His question, his concern, is about whether he has it or not, or still has it, right? Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you just need a little more structure to get, you know, so that you're concentrating better, and not necessarily medication. When I look at Richard, I don't think of someone with ADD. But it depends on performance as well. When you're in front of someone for half an hour, that's, that's not enough time to say, you know, sometimes what you have to do is look at the books, look at the work, look at what the school progress is, uh, look at the social, you know, he's, he has a lot on his plate. And whether he thinks it or, not, or doesn't think it, sometimes you need someone that you can talk to. Come, Richard. Yes. Have you ever been to neurology, Dr. Wolf? Um, yes, I think all right. So. When I you sent you to send me for a single Right. Yeah. Then you'll get a referral for Dr. Wolf. Yes. Finished. Finished. Are we? As always, know. wonderful. As always. Right? Yes. Pleasure. Please move. Thank you. Right. Thank you. 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 I just don't do. Why? I I want to be that person that I come across to people as. I want to be reliable. I want to be I want to be a man. I'll play. Put the camera on the ball spot. I can't see it at all.
when I saw the film done by the woman at DCTV, uh, it showed me a picture of myself trying to accomplish many things at the same time. I am going to have to definitely uh, pass on that opportunity. One area of, of uh, ADD, <laughs> is, uh, my forgetting to call people back. And you find yourself apologizing for not returning phone calls a lot, you know? <laughs> I, I think you might even know something about that. <laughs> yeah. I called him to ask him how school went and some other stuff, and he never called me back. Sometimes you leave a little bit of a trail of a mess in a household, for example, if you try to begin, if you begin a number of projects and you don't complete any of them. I've made myself to believe that things that I have to do are so ridiculously overwhelming that I psych myself out and I end up blacking out and not being able to accomplish anything. The essential ADD comes from, you know, things that are lying around that are completely unrelated. Like what? Like this ticket to a temple, no excuse for this toothbrush to be here. A note that says uh, Ecuador conference. There are days when this place looks normal. But I didn't want it to look normal today. I wanted it to look uh, tattered like that is it. That's such a lie. I, I said there are days. I didn't say there are weeks. There are days what in did the you year. Today destroy your office. No, no, <laughs> I, no. I destroyed it last week, and I haven't cleaned it up since last week. I'll admit. One of the reasons that I chose the style of music that I play, for example, is that it is not as predictable. repetitious. I play avant-garde. I want to be like Faroon. I want to be a successful African-American male artist. Cause yeah, I can't. Cause you know, can't nobody go in there with me. You know, I can bring the camera in. But um, what I did get was a prescription for Adderall. You know, so now I'm just gonna be taking Adderall, I guess. You know, but I better do a little bit of research on this. You know, you know, so I can know what the hell I'm taking. Let's go. I said in in the last film, you know, the only person I can depend on is myself. But it's not working. I'm losing. Everything. I do not have any, I do not have much to lose, but for some reason I have found a way to lose it. I can't never go out with my nephew because I'm always showing up late. Because we will punish him. So I'm a bad person? No, you're a good person, but listen to, to my mother, okay? Me and my sister don't agree on anything. Cause she probably doesn't take me seriously cause she notices I'm a bullshitter. It's, it, it, it's really bad when you hurt somebody over and over again. One of the most important people in your life. You don't wanna hurt people over and over again. What what would you do, huh? Huh? Hmm. You're always dazing up. You're always paying attention to something else. Can never get nothing 
done because you can't pay attention on what you have to do. Hmm. But then you get this option, right? That you could take this one pill. This one pill. And everything's going to be all right. You know, I looked up online. Some of the side effects. And one of them is death. Would you risk your life to have a better one? You only, only used to blow, to blow off a lot of things, things you were supposed to do. But, but now, now it's just like, like you, not, not only do you blow them off, you blow them off and you don't, don't even, even try to like make excuses for it. I wouldn't take any chemicals. I was that always a non-medicine kind of person. There are pills for lack of attention. But there are no pills for laziness, tardiness, a lack of motivation. So I've come to realize that overall it's not about ADD. It's not about Adderall or any other drugs. But it's about me becoming better as a person.